Hey guys, this is Josh and Ollie relaxing on the place bed this evening before dinner. And today we just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the struggles that Ollie had before he came here that are oh so common in many dogs. So Ollie did the typical classical barking and chasing the mailman or the UPS man. So he would be outside, and like many dogs, if the UPS man came, he would just terrorize that poor FedEx guy until he left. Now, why do our dogs do this, and how can we prevent it? How can we stop it? Well, the truth is, that's because they're dogs. Dogs are innately territorial and protective. And most dogs, if you don't say that you disagree with that behavior, they're gonna take it upon themselves to do so. And here's the kicker. They think that they're doing a benefit to the household. They think they're keeping, they're, they're protecting, they're doing their job. So what we do in order to get rid of a behavior like that is first and foremost, we disagree with it by correcting. And now, nowadays, Ollie's got the e-collar, so if we see anything that we disagree with, we can correct on that, and he knows it's us saying, hey, we don't like that behavior. We don't want you to do it again in the future, okay? On top of that, we start taking control of the house and the yard. We start letting our dogs live a more permission-based lifestyle. A lot of these dogs that are making these mistakes that of, well, I shouldn't say mistakes, they're doing these behaviors. To them, it's not a mistake. They're doing these behaviors of protecting the house and being territorial um, is because they're given too much responsibility and freedom. They're allowed to roam the house, do whatever they want all day long, so they feel the message that's given the dog is that they're responsible for this place. This is their home. And as far as they're concerned, you're probably just a dispenser of food, treats, and toys, and affection. So, by starting to tell our dogs what to do on a daily basis, when, where, and how, the dog starts to see things differently. Starts to see you as the one who is the decision maker. So when something comes up, like the UPS man comes to the door and knocks, if they start barking, you say no, and they're like, that's right, this person is the person who makes all the decisions and they just disagreed with this and I respect them because all day, every day, they lead the day. From when I get out of the kennel to when I go outside, what do I do when I'm inside, what do I do when I'm outside, you'll, you're the decision maker. So therefore, when it comes to these moments that really matter and you need to have control, you will. But the reverse is often practice. What's usually practiced is it's a free-for-all around the house every day, all day, until the moment that you feel like you need control and then you ask for it from your dog and they don't give it to you. Why? Because you don't practice leadership on a regular basis. So, it is very much a lifestyle with your dog. It's a big responsibility to have a dog. You need to take that position of decision maker, of leader. Command training helps a ton because then you have a common communication where your dog and you both understand the rules of the commands. So, instead of only correcting for bad behavior, you can now correct and then direct. No, don't go after that mailman. Instead, come to me and lay down. No, don't bark at guests coming in the door. Instead, go to place, right? So it's clear, we get what I want, what we want. And as time goes on, your dog learns to have better judgment and you're not on them as much because they know the kind of lifestyle you want to live with them and they know what to do in these scenarios that are otherwise very stressful. So, you have to get out there, you have to take charge, you have to be the leader, you have to start making the decisions and disagreeing when the dog starts to try to be the decision maker and do these very natural things of protect, protecting the territory, which looks comes in the form of chasing off the UPS man or barking at the door when guests come, saying no and correcting, will clear that up, whether your dog's been doing it for a few weeks or a few years, right? And Ollie now is doing fantastic. And he's going home tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. Tomorrow's Ollie's last day here. He's gonna be having a fantastic go home. I hope you guys followed his progress. He's gonna go and live a more structured, but peaceful and happy life.